The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Welcome to the Broncos News Network. I'm Ethan. And I'm Caroline. And these are our top stories for this week. Homecoming is coming up, and we are here to tell you what to wear and what the theme is. We'll take a look at our JROTC program. We're also going to be covering what's up with the swim team and golf team. BBN News starts now. Next, we have Aiden Boyrun asking students what they are wearing for Spirit Week and what their favorite day is. Next week is our first Spirit Week of the 2022 through 2023 school year. It'll lead us up to our homecoming. Monday will be Pajama Day. Tuesday will be Decade Day. Wednesday is Vine slash Meme Day. Thursday is Anything But a Backpack Day. And Friday is Class Color Day. Here are what some of your fellow students will be wearing. My name is Aiden Bulleran. Today, we're gonna interview DHS students about what they're gonna do for Spirit Week. Um, I'm doing the 90s. Cool. Uh, see, I had this crock pot, you know, I was thinking about bringing, so I just might bring that, you know. Crock pot? Crock pot, yeah. Um, we're gonna do the two, two dudes in a hot tub um, vine, so I'm gonna come in a, in a swimming trunks and like a shirt or something. I'll probably take my shirt off if I get dress coded, skill issue, I guess. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty fun. I was going to wear a pair of blue underpants, you know, start sagging. That's what I usually do anyway. So I figured, you know, everybody would appreciate the school spirit. This has been Aiden Bulleran with the Broncos Broadcasting Network signing off. Here's Jade with the JROTC. This week, we spoke with Alex, one of the commanders of JROTC. So I'm a company commander. So I am in charge of the class at the moment, unless there's an instru instructor. And I basically decide who is going to do what role and how well they're going to do it and what we're going to do for drill and what we're, what we're going to do for PT. And we also have smaller roles that designate exactly how it's going to be done, but as long as what I want is done, then I'm, I'm happy. JROTC teaches different ways to communicate in the military. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a couple. Uh, we use the phonetic alphabet to determine what class period you have, believe it or not. A, B, C, yeah, we all call that Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, and Golf. Those are all the seven classes that we have. Okay, so we usually we have right face, left face, half left face, half right face, which we only use for punishments. Um, about face, there's order arms, and then present arms. Should, opposite way you want to use it. Let's take a look at what Alex has to say to those interested in joining JROTC. To those that are considering joining JROTC, I definitely recommend doing so. We definitely use the help. We want more than nothing to have a lot of cadets join us. We have a bunch of after school activities such as Raiders and Color Guard and Rifle Team. We're soon trying to get up a drone team. We'll fit, get you fitted with uniforms. We'll make you look all nice in front of your parents. Be a good, good support. And it def it's definitely a lot of fun. Definitely builds some character and some life skills that you'll need. With Broncos Broadcasting Network, I'm Jade Newman. Here's Caitlin with interviews with the golf coaches. Well, we're off to a 2 0 start. Um, we knocked off Ridge, which uh, you know, was, was good to always beat those crosstown rivals. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we've got some tough tournaments ahead of us, tough matches ahead of us, but the guys are in really good shape. We're playing really well, getting some production uh, from underclassmen. Um, you know, Brandon Anderson, who's a, who's a freshman, stepped up for us. Um, got great senior leadership out of Patrick Anderson. Um, Jack Norton's playing really, really well. Uh, just added Michael Ortiz to the roster. So I think we're in really good shape, and we'll see how districts and stuff goes in mid-October. And what do you think your team can improve on this year? Um, I think the big thing with us to improve upon is just that, that maturation process and, and understanding that they are a lot better, that self-confidence. Um, some of them doubt themselves at times, and it's kind of frustrating as a coach because I see their potential, and I, 
see how well um, I know they're going to do, uh, not just on the golf course but in life. But if we can just get that self-confidence, um, I think the sky's the limit for us. I think we'll go pretty far this year. I think my team's going to do great. I mean, first of all, we have a full team this year. Last year, we only had three girls, so we couldn't compete as a full team. We have six this year, so we've already doubled the team. That's a great improvement already, so I think we're going to do great. And what do you think your team can improve on this year? I think the thing that we can improve on the most this year is um, probably confidence. I've got four new girls on the team this year, and they're all freshmen. So confidence may not be their strong suit, but getting out there and playing against other girls from other teams that they don't know will help build their confidence on and off the golf course. So. And uh, what, do, what do you want to tell people that are considering to play golf? If you're considering doing a sport in general and you don't know what to do, try golf. It's a, it's a fun sport. Uh, people think it's an old person sport, but it's not. Um, it's one of the shortest seasons of the school year. We don't really have tryouts, but, I mean, give it a try. The, the girls on the team right now, they love it. Uh, normally, the girls that start off as freshmen, they keep playing all four years because they have grown to love the game. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. I'm Caitlin Haleva, and this is Broncos Broadcasting Network. Hello, this is Elias Duray giving you our four-day forecast. We're looking at partly cloudy thunderstorms all weekend with our highs and lows being a high of 93 and a low of 73 for Friday, a high of 88 and a low of 69 on Saturday, a high of 89 and a low of 71 for Sunday, and a high of 90 and a low of 71 for Monday. Well, that's your weekly weather report. Till next time, back to Ethan. Davenport High School offers many different types of arts to students, and one of those arts is theater. Here's Alec with Mr. HD. I uh, am the theater teacher here at Davenport High School. I've been teaching for 14 years. I also uh, volunteer my time at Theater Winter Haven, where I direct and sometimes act. Um, why did you choose theater as the path you wanted to pursue? I fell in love with theater when I was in high school and knew that I always wanted to be a part of it in some way, shape, or form. Um, I went to college and got my degree in theater performance and then moved to Chicago with some friends and started a theater company. Uh, after doing that for about three years, uh, I had some family issues. My mom started getting sick and so I moved back to Central Florida and knew that I didn't really want to work for the mouse or uh, a theme park. So I uh, always had in the back of my mind that eventually I wanted to be able to share my craft with others and I knew that eventually I wanted to be a teacher and so I started pursuing my teaching degree and uh, started teaching and now I've been doing that for 14 years. So as a theater teacher you've probably been in many productions. Um, what has been your favorite production that you have either directed or been in? Ah, uh, two different answers. Uh, the, my favorite show that I've ever directed is and will forever be Hairspray. I think it's a very powerful message and a very beautiful musical. Um, and then show that I've been in, one of my favorites to this day is playing Perchick in uh, the musical Fiddler on the Roof. I'm Alec Mosenberg. This is the Bronco Broadcasting Network. And now over to Eric with information about DHS swim team. So what team are you a part of? I am a part of the DHS Bronco swim team. Why did you choose to be part of the team? Well, I've been swimming since I was a kid, since my older brothers did it, and it was a way to spend time with them and compete with them at the same time. So when is the next swim meet scheduled? The next swim meet is next Thursday, um, the 29th, and I believe it's at Lake Eva as well. Is the swim team still open to join? No, it is not, um, because we've already we're already in our fourth meet and district is coming up next month. So it is not available to join, but if you are interested and you are a lower classman, of course, you can join by talking to Coach Unin and get you ready for next year. What is the best part of being on the team? Uh, well, like any other team, we kind of become a family and we kind of just have fun. You know, we practice, we work hard, but 
when we're together and we're not doing anything, we we just do um, anything a team would do, a family would do. And what are your expectations for this year? Because we're a starting team, the realistic, uh, the the reality of it is that we're not going to be the best team out there, but we're still going to be the best for ourselves because it's us against a time. So I expect that we all force ourselves to the capacity that we can. And I've seen a lot of it throughout this season so far. Thank you. Take it. Thank you for joining us this week for Bunkers News. I'm Caroline. And I'm Ethan. We'll see you next time.